I've always wanted to dive deeper into the Ratchet and Clank series. Last year, getting a PlayStation 5 after hearing all the praise for Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart was finally my big chance. After completing two 100% playthroughs, my jaw was still on the ground. It turned out that people were right. This was the pinnacle of the well-reviewed series, and for good reason. Now that claim being made, I haven't actually played many games in the series. Up until last year, I had only ever finished Size Matters and Secret Agent Clank on the PlayStation Portable. And in preparation for Rift Apart, I beat the PlayStation 4 remake of the original Ratchet & Clank. What I do know is that all three of those games don't hold a candle to the magnificence that is Rift Apart. Rarely a game comes along that is a masterpiece in all regards, gameplay, narrative, sounds, and visuals. I'm here to say that this PlayStation 5 exclusive has it all, for returning fans and newcomers alike. For those uninitiated, the Ratchet & Clank series, named after its two titular characters, has almost always been a dependable blend of 3D platforming and third-person shooting, with a twist being the over-the-top arsenal of bizarre sci-fi weapons at Ratchet's disposal. In that basic regard, what wasn't broken has not been fixed, but a tentatively fine-tuned so that every blaster bolt fired sends myriad different vibrations through the player thanks to the intensely detailed haptic feedback of the DualShock controller. The overall most satisfying addition is another thing made possible with this controller, which is the difference between half and full trigger pulls, and how that affects each weapon, making the player feel the pressure of each gun, and also forcing them to strategize which exact amount of finger squeezing is appropriate for a given combat situation. With close to two dozen weapons overall, that all react differently to every action I've just described, it's hard to imagine a shooter that is more creative and diverse in its options than Rift Apart. Shooting isn't even the full scope of the gameplay. Akin to some of the other best platformers with personality, the characters in this game control fluidly, responsively, and animatedly as they boost on hover boots across vast planetary landscapes, or skate on the shoulders of giant robots from point A to point B. Traversal never gets dull in a game when jumping, gliding, flying, grinding, grappling, and dashing are all options to get around. The Phantom Dash is a specific highlight, providing a more satisfying dodge in combat and a flashier way to solve environmental puzzles. The best Ratchet & Clank games are nothing if not diverse. On top of the main gameplay segments of shooting and platforming are some of the most engaging side modes yet. One in which Clank uses physics-altering spheres to manipulate clones of himself to solve various puzzles. And another in which side character Glitch mows down swarms of computer viruses, all while making the player feel the unique vibrations of her small aspects of the campaign. All of these staples are great, but they're hollow without a good story tying them all together. Meet Rivet, hey! a character this franchise desperately needed to feel relevant again. For a while, it felt like developer Insomniac Games was comfortable just coasting on the bromance of said Ratchet and said Clank. They're both fantastic characters, and they're both wonderfully animated and voiced in this game too. But the series needed an extra oomph to stand up with the big dogs of Sony's video game stories. Rivet, a female alternate of Ratchet from another dimension, fits the bill of not just adding more emotional weight to a usually comical series, but bringing to the table another endearing character to fall in love with, too. Voice acting veteran Jennifer Hale does a magnificent job bringing Rivet to life in short time. Ratchet slowly grew into the most lovable version of himself over the course of several games. Rivet is lovable from the very beginning in Rift Apart. Other characters in the game fit the narrative well, as there's really no bad joke filler like there had been in earlier titles. The kids love their social medias. Hashtag Gadgetron. Everyone plays their role perfectly in a story about accepting one's brokenness and deciding to push past feelings of isolation and self-doubt, no matter how challenging that may be. If all this weren't enough to gush about, Rift Apart may just be the most beautiful game ever made up until now. 
The high definition detail of everything, from our lovable furry characters, to the varied biomes of nearly a dozen planets, oozes technical finesse of modern PlayStation graphics without losing any of the charm, character, and color that make all these sci-fi designs so gorgeous to behold. There was simply no better choice than Insomniac Games to show just how impressive games on the PlayStation 5 can look, and sound for that matter, as Rift Apart's soundtrack and sound design are a cut above the rest of its contemporaries and past series entries. Explosions leave blasting impacts as much as the synths of space insert the player into all of these environments, which vary wildly as a marsh overrun by dinosaurs to a destroyed planet that can be flipped into its alternate, put-together state. There is so much to look at, enjoy, and adore in Rift Apart. If you've ever thought, even once, that you'd enjoy a game in this series, you need to track down a PlayStation 5 and get this game. It is a system seller, as well as the pinnacle of its genre. Thank you so much for watching this review of Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart. I've been wanting to gush about this game for a while, ever since I first beat it in August of 2021. I may have gotten married last summer, sure, but last summer was also when I became a true Rivet stan. Being a furry put aside, I really do think she's one of the best new characters to grace video games in the past many years. It makes me so happy to see high-budget platformers like Rift Apart and Super Mario Odyssey do amazingly well and sell their respective systems. I need sequels to them both ASAP. As always, thank you Logan for putting these words of mine and the visuals together. I couldn't do this again, and certainly not this well, without you. Please follow Logan on YouTube and Twitter. Thanks again everyone for watching, and I'll see you in the next Easy 64 review.